Hello, welcome back. So it's Queen Central here. Um, it is supposed to rain tonight, tomorrow. And so I'm trying to get some stuff planted that I hadn't planted yet. So here, I already have my snow snap peas growing. Um, so I planted some cucumbers, some pickling cucumbers and some just regular uh, mar market more cucumbers. I have planted some butter crunch lettuce in this area and then some Tom's Thumb butter crunch lettuce, which is supposed to be smaller. And these two sides, I need to plant dill here in the middle, companion planting to help prevent the bugs that want to eat my uh, cucumbers and my uh, kale and stuff that's over there. Hopefully it'll work. Um, and lots of lettuce that I'm never going to eat, so not sure what's going to happen with that. I also planted some lettuce in my asparagus bed, which I actually am going to need to plant more asparagus as well. They're already ferning because it's the second year. Oh, I could grab those guys right there. I really didn't want to grab them. I wanted them to keep going. Technically, I guess it's the third year if I planted two-year-olds. Um, and I could have eaten them, but I chose to let them fern for the most part. We did eat a couple of them. I actually might grab those too um, and notch on them. They're really good right out of the garden. I have more over here that I let fern. And a couple down below. Uh, this is all supposed to be asparagus, but some of it did not take last year. So I'm gonna plant some more um, down there. It's like a sunflower seed growing that I did not plant straight down there, not sure. All right, what else am I gonna plant? I have more lettuce to plant where carrots are supposed to be growing. My son is mowing my garden area and where my husband missed with the lawnmower. So I probably need to get out of his way. All right, thanks. Hello and welcome back. So. Um, I planted a whole lot of stuff yesterday and forgot to videotape the after effect because I was busy and it got cold really fast. But real quick, I'm going to show you what I'm planting today and then I'll show you what I planted yesterday. So I am putting potatoes in right now. And here we got some. This is the first row going in. Now these, I actually do not know what type of potatoes they are. I got all these potatoes from um, an organic farm that I used to go to last year that closed down. Um, and this is what was left over that I let chit. Um, it's a bunch of them. They're like white potatoes, small potatoes, uh, like almost like fingerling, but not fingerling. So they're like little potatoes. Um, and this is in a bed that has broccoli on the right, different, three different types of broccoli, I believe it is. Down the middle is onion and to the left is cabbage and Brussels sprouts. So companion planting this. I think half of this bed is gonna end up having to have some kind of um, cover on it to protect it from cabbage moths and all that jazz. I have planted some marigolds and little buckets there that will hopefully keep some of that away and the onions will hopefully also keep them away, but can't be too safe. So a lot of my broccoli, um, some of them are popping up now. They even planted from seed. I actually have some sprouted, but they're so skinny. I just like, let me plant some seed and see how fast they come up. And they came up pretty fast. Uh, so yesterday, um, what did I do? I planted okra here. So my little okra sign down that row is okra planted with um, cabbage, cabbages. There will be tomatillos in the corner. There is some garlic there now. Um, and tomatillos will be around the garlic. Carrots are there. I don't think they're sprouting. Uh, or actually, these ones might be. The other batch I have is not. In the front, this will be more potatoes right here. I think it's going to be my red potatoes. They're not getting planted today because they have to dry out after cutting them. More garlic. Um, you've seen that lovely bed already. Uh, I planted all these onion bulbs here. There will be carrots intermittently on this side of them. Okay, so carrots there, onion, carrots there with onion in front. And then this will have potatoes and something else, I can't remember right now, right next to it in this section here. That's the Tatsu mustard greens. And to the right, I think that's gonna be some tomatoes. Oh yeah, tomatoes there. And tomatoes down there. And eggplant, eggplant. A lot of companion planting going on around here. Um, under the trellis. Uh, little blue markers. That's where I planted squash yesterday. So I have some green zucchini that will hopefully grow in this direction towards the end of the bed. And if it has to hit the ground, I'm cool with that. Um, but I'm going to train it to come this direction. 
Same with the yellow squash. I gave, I put it further back because there's nothing going behind it and it's so far in that I'm not going to be able to reach anything back there really with the trellis. So I put that all the way back. It's going to be trained to grow this way. Right in front, I'm going to plant radishes just right here. So they won't be there very long after I plant them. But, you know, they're 45 days uh, breakfast radishes. Behind this green zucchini is... Or don't remember something else <laughs> and in between all that is I don't think I've completed designing this bed actually now that I think about it because I had to change it um, because what happened was I was going to plant my trellis to be uh, everything trellis was going to be planted over here but my husband didn't want me to build another mini bed so cool so I planted the butternut squash and uh, there's going to be watermelon on the right a uh, regular melon here Right here is some sweet dumpling squash and spaghetti squash. This is going to be cantaloupe. Hopefully all this works out. Um, and here we have Zeppelin's Delica squash. Things I've never had before. Uh, some more vegetable squash, which I love, and blueberry Hubbard. Um, blue Hubbard, I mean. Um, on the other side of this is going to be, I think, a couple tomato plants as well. Um, so I have a lot of companion planting going on here. Uh, it will perfectly all work out. I will be succession planting because last year something took out all my spaghetti squash and I wanted to cry. So I'm going to start more spaghetti squash inside in like four weeks, just in case. <laughs> and so I can replace them if something happens. Um, maybe the other ones too, but especially my spaghetti squash. Uh, this is the other potato bed. Um, I think this is going to be purple potatoes. I don't remember, but I love potatoes. I could live off potatoes, so we're planting a lot of them. So I'm going to finish filling in. Oh, and what I'm doing with my potatoes, I'm not doing a cover, cover, cover method. I am doing the put them in the ground once method. If I have to, I will cover them again, but hopefully they will just grow down. Um, there's nothing on the bottom of this bed uh, in terms of like a cage or anything that's gonna stop them from going to the, into the natural ground. Um, which is actually really good soil we have here. So they can go down or they can grow out um, and hopefully it'll work out. I am gonna cover them all with mulch and I'll probably bring another layer of mulch in like two weeks uh, to cover them some more. But other than that, I am just, I started down here already. Um, so you see they're in the ground and I'm just filling them in with the dirt, making sure it's kind of loose, picking any weeds I find. And then I'm just covering it over with mulch. That's all I'm doing here. And then I'm gonna actually come back later and like I said, like a week or so and cover what starts to sprout with a nice two, three inches of mulch. Again, it's kind of like a roost out method, but not officially. All right.